Rutherford. I'm a fisheries biologist here at, at NOAA GLURAL, and um, my role in the lab is to work with the ecosystem dynamics folks, um, and my expertise is looking at um, or studying the early life history of fish in the Great Lakes. Uh, we're looking at how survival of young alewives and bloaters in particular um, are the invasion of the quagga mussel and the in predaceous clodosferum desitrephes. So we're going out every every month and sometimes twice a month to sample the food web in the near shore and offshore zones and look at how changes in light um, and temperature and plankton communities which are influenced by the, the benthos, I mean by the invasive species, are influencing the survival and growth of the larvae. The, the um, food web right now, in part because of um, filtration by this invasive quagga mussels, is really um, spatially segregated into very fine levels of the water column. So if you take just uh, an integrated tilt of the whole water column, you, you may be missing the important feeding dynamics between plankton um, and, and larvae and then larvae and predators. Actually separate it out and capture those, um, those layers, those fine layers in the water column where a lot of the dynamics is happening. It's important to really understand what shape the ecosystem is in right now and actually how it might respond to future stressors and, and that requires knowing what is the biomass of, of different organisms out there, who feeds on whom, um, if something else comes in the system, what might change as a result of that. So there's a there's a, both a, the scientific interest as well as an economic interest in understanding how uh, changes will affect the food web and fisheries. Um, but CSMI is Coordinated Science and Monitoring Initiative, and it's led by the Environmental Protection Agency through the Great Lakes National Program Office. This is a coordinated sampling effort on each Great Lake once every five years. Um, the Great Lakes are so large that no one agency can really effectively sample that lake. So it's, it's very exciting that we're able to focus on a certain research question that before this uh, was really impossible to do.